Hey, what's up everybody? Average Sniper here. Got an update for you. Smack that like button and enjoy the video. All right, so PUBG is releasing update 26.1 and guess what? They're bringing back tactical gear, <laughs> but not in the way that we used to have it. Anyway, um, this update is going to take place for PC on October 11th at 12 a.m. through 8.30 a.m. UTC and on console October 19th, 1 a.m. through 10 a.m. UTC. If you want to go directly to the patch notes, the link will be in the video description. All right, so let's talk about tactical gear. I'm going to read you off exactly what they say, and then we will discuss it. As always, feel free to leave your opinion and anything extra in the comment section. Here we go. Devs comment, tactical gear returns in this update. Following its temporary removal in update 25.2, we embarked on an in-depth review of the acquisition methods and the overarching influence and balance of tactical gear. Foremost, we recognize that providing every player with tactical gear detracted from the foundational gameplay experience of players landing unarmed and scavenging for items, land, loot, survive. So basically they're saying that the tactical gear changed the base gameplay that PUBG is always supposed to maintain. The nitty gritty battle royale. That's what I mean when I always talk. Land, loot, survive. Not fly a drone around as soon as you land and look for people while you hide. And, okay, back to reading what they have to say. Sorry. And thus, after carefully considering your feedback and our internal metrics, we are reintroducing tactical gear with the balanced version of specific gear that gave away excessive information during the match as a world spawn item, starting with the 26.1 test server. The test server launches today. We encourage you to try out the updated tactical gear and share your thoughts. So the tactical gear, um, I believe, will be the drone, spotter scope, and EMT gear. I don't see anything else on here. There might be. I might be missing something. That is why the link is in the video description uh, for this right here. Uh, here's the general changes. Tactical gear will now world spawn individually throughout the map. Acquired tactical gear is stored directly in your inventory. Equipped tactical gear will occupy the sixth slot in the inventory. There's a brief delay while equipping, which you can cancel. You can loot multiple tactical gear items, but only one can be equipped. That sounds dangerous. And equipped tactical gear cannot be dropped. Oh. If you re-enter the match after a comeback BR or through the recall system, your previous tactical gear is removed, allowing for a new one to be equipped. Tactical gear can be stored in vehicle trunks and tactical packs. All right, for the drone, they've decreased the maximum distance from 200 meters to 150 meters. They've increased the acceleration noise volume. They've added a smoke effect to destroyed drones. There's an icon indicating the destroyed drone's location has been added visible on your screen when you have the drone tablet equipped. Drones cannot be deployed when you are in a prone position. That is great. Everybody was laying prone with drones in the final circle for uh, like a month after the tactical gear release. It was getting nuts, including me, because to be competitive, you just had to do it. All right, spotter scope. Marker duration, seven seconds to five seconds. So it used to be seven. Now it's going to be five. Marking enemies concealed by smoke is no longer possible. Pre-existing markers will remain visible even if the enemies move into smoke. This applies to both smoke grenades and the M79 smoke launcher. All right, so the next part of this update is the world modifications to Erangel. So they have enhanced areas near the center of the Erangel map that are less frequently explored by players. Stalber and the submerged village, Watertown, have been visually refreshed. Milta has been given a makeover that retains its essence while offering a fresh perspective, and Ruins and Georgia Pole have been optimized for smoother gameplay with improved loot distribution and navigation options. Reorganized the area... Oh, wait, hold on. 
All right, so here's specifically what they did to each area. You guys can click on the link to see that. I don't want to waste your time by reading all the little things they did uh, to each area. But they do have some cool pictures uh, that you can scroll through and see like the before and after on uh, Stalber, the boatyard, and ruins, and Milta. Pretty cool. Uh, some other highlights. There is a secret room. That's only accessible through underground entrances in Erangale's natural surroundings. The secret rooms have been untouched for a long time. Only the sharpest players will have the opportunity to obtain rare items from secret rooms. Make sure to leave before enemies arrive since engagements here can be quite deadly. Alright, so they added secret rooms containing high value items. And they can ask be accessed by secret room keys. And they're available in normal and custom matches. So pretty much like all the other maps, they just added secret rooms that you need keys for to Aaron Gale. Uh, they added and adjusted a small number of vehicle spawn spots in normal and ranked. Uh, the world and minimap have been updated for Aaron Gale. That's about it. Oh, on to the KFC collaboration. So PUBG is doing a collaboration with KFC. What the heck? Let me read this to you guys. Finger licking goodness meets PUBG Battlegrounds. KFC, renowned for serving the finest chicken dinners, has landed in Erangale. Explore KFC stores on the revamped Erangale map and keep an eye out for upcoming KFC events. Erangale's gas stations have transformed into KFC stores. Oh my god. <laughs> you can obtain exclusive KFC chicken combos from kiosks nestled inside KFC stores. Really advertising the fast food here. Jeez. So you can engage with these fast food KFC kiosks. And then after you place an order, your nickname appears on the number display board. Each player may use one kiosk once per KFC store and once more after entering phase four. <laughs> so what you might think, what is the point of that? Well, here's what it is. The KFC chicken bucket functions like the first aid kit and showcases your character savoring the chicken leg when consumed. So it heals you. KFC Secret Recipe Fries functions like the bandage and showcases your character enjoying the fries when consumed. <laughs> KFC Drink functions like the energy drink. The KFC stores will be available for a month on Erangale. They've added billboards and banners to advertise. The banners have been added to the starting planes for pretty much all the maps. Uh, let's see. The thermal four times scope is no longer going to be a world spawn and it will instead spawn in certain areas such as care packages, secret rooms, lab camps, and supply drops. Let's see what else. That's about it. There's not too much more interesting stuff there. There is, there are some more things uh, about this update, bug fixes, technical details, ranked stuff so if you guys want to know more click the link in the description but i think we've covered all the highlights let me know what you guys think in the comments don't forget to hit the like button and i will see you on the battlegrounds have a great day bye